Hi, good morning everybody and welcome back to another ride. Um, first off, before I even go any further, happy Mother's Day and I hope that you try to at least enjoy your time with your family today. The weather has been a little, uh, couldn't make up its mind. And so um, yesterday it snowed uh, towards the evening and then this morning I woke up and there was snow on the ground, a little bit of snow on the ground. Uh, it didn't, it wasn't enough to cover it, but there was a light coating of snow on the deck. Yeah, there's a freeze warning this morning, so can't really figure out what to wear today because it will start to warm up uh, later on. It's not too warm, but it'll warm up. So I'm gonna have to check it out outside to see what it's going to be like. Today's ride, uh, it is going to be a 100 kilometer ride. This would be Jason's first and my second. Um, and we're pretty excited. I know Jason didn't sleep very well last night, just thinking how excited he was uh, over this ride. But yeah, so we are going to get ready uh, to do that. I have to set up my bike and we'll see you guys on the road. Mother's Day. We're uh, at our first pit stop here on our ride, which is supposed to be four hours and 45 minutes in total. I think it's going to come closer to five hours though. It's 67 miles. Um, it's uh, a little cold today. Uh, it's kind of a disappointment compared to last weekend when it was gorgeous and you know we felt nice and loose and energized and everything. Today is, you know, a little bit cold and tighter and stiffer. Not sure if you can see the uh, the pond behind me. This is Squance Pond Park. Not a whole lot going on here today, probably because of the weather. Probably just some, some people fishing. Um, but mainly, uh, Joy and I just wanted to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. And I'm sure that a lot of you, or most of you, probably were not able to see your mothers today on Mother's Day, um, ourselves included, which is, you know, a real bummer. Uh, we normally get our two families together for, you know, a barbecue type of celebration on Mother's Day and aren't able to do that this year. Uh, but there will there will be better days ahead and uh, we'll get through this and you know eventually we'll get back to if not back to normal back to a uh, closer to normal um, so anyway we just want to say again happy mother's day to our moms and uh, especially and um, we love both of you and um, wish you could wish we could see you today uh, and looking forward to a day hopefully soon when we will get to, to see you and and visit well um, 
we're gonna head off pretty soon for the rest of our ride, so I'll catch you later. there you go guys that was uh, North Quaker Hill uh, we've never actually ridden up this road before and saw that as a good climb it's a little over two miles and I think its average grade is three percent so not too bad um, but I want to add a little bit more distance to my climbs or our climbs because I want to get a little bit better at it so uh, we're trying to slowly lengthen the try to find some more segments that's a little bit longer uh, because the ones around here are a quarter half a mile long a mile long so you know that was a good effort Hi, honey. Hello. So, so we are in Scattercook Road right now. Um, there's a trail there that leads to the top of this uh, mountain. I guess you could call it a mountain or a hill, uh, which is part of the part of the Appalachian Trail. So we're gonna have something to eat and fuel up before we continue on yeah it's uh pretty windy today we've been getting blown around by the wind and uh it feels like we're always into a headwind for some reason but maybe that's just because the, the general direction that we're going right now and maybe as we turn around and head back um you know on the second half of the ride maybe it won't be as bad but 
Yeah, today, no, no PRs today, not going for anything. We, we're both, the muscles are feeling a little cold and tight, so we're just going to kind of keep a steady pace and just focus on the mileage. So, you know, the key thing is just to, to complete the, this long ride, which will be my longest and Joy's uh, second longest. Um, so, at least it's sunny. At least it's sunny, though. It would be a lot colder if it wasn't. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm having burnt brownies today for a snack. Uh, last night I made brownies and I wasn't paying attention to the temperature that I set the oven to. So it, I set it to a little higher than I normally would. And so now I have burnt brownies. we are here in uh, the bottom of Bulls Bridge Road just just finished the climb and man where there's this road uh, part of Route 7 in Kent uh, very wide open um, lots of open fields and farmland and it was so windy uh, yeah it was a bummer because it was such nice smooth road yeah I mean I think it was it was pretty much a flat road but we felt like we were doing a moderate climb, I think, to, to the whole way, going into the headwind. And, uh, and neither one of us has the, uh, the energy to go for any PRs today. So when we just did Bulls Bridge climb, it's kind of a noodle fest, but it's okay. So my snacks have been burnt brownies and bruised bananas. have about 20 more miles left to go um, in this ride yeah just really not feeling it today um, I don't know it's, maybe it's just because the cold and uh, the wind and just all that I feel like my muscles are taking a long time to get going every time we stop to get something to eat or drink so yeah no I'm just looking forward to you know getting this over with actually this is like the first time that I feel like I want to get I mean it, it's nice it's actually nice but I have a lot of things in my mind right now so yeah we're gonna have another feed session um, amazing how much difference a week can make in the last uh, last week we felt so great and uh, today we just don't have it really we're just kind of plodding along uh, yeah, I don't know if it's the weather or if we're just f built up fatigue, but anyway, 20 more miles to go, and uh, yeah, I think it, we're just kind of looking forward to finishing this ride. Um, I still enjoy these rides, but last week was just so fun, it's hard to top that. <laughs>
back home. Ugh, that was a long ride. Uh, Jason is going to give you the stats for today. Uh, it was 64 miles even, uh, so I guess that's a little over 100K, uh, which is nice. That was the, the goal going into today. Uh, I think it took us a little less than five hours, right? Yeah, well, clo <laughs> 4.59. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Five hours. Five hours. Okay. And over 5,000 feet of climbing. I always end up with like 100 feet more than Joy. I think I go over the steep parts of the road or something. Um, but How did you feel? I feel done. Yeah, <laughs> I feel uh, my legs are real tired. And uh, I don't know if it was all that climbing or... We didn't feel great today anyway. It's just I think the temperature played a big part in it mm. too, so. Now it's nice. <laughs> Every time we come home, it's usually not pretty yeah. nice. So, uh, yeah, no, we're just going to pretty much, I think it might have been the wine <laughs> last night. I don't know, but we, well, we, we had that last week. We too. typically, yeah, ha do have wine. Um, but uh, I don't know what it was. I, we were just pretty tired. It's been, um, if you guys, I don't know if I mentioned this in the past, but we are in the peak phase of our training plan. And so the intensity uh, ramps up. And so luckily we have active recovery coming up. But yeah, over 5,000 feet of climbing today, which is the most that we have ever done. I think yeah. that's insane. It's, it's I, pretty crazy when you think about right. it. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we're pretty done, uh, and we're gonna go home. We're gonna go inside, get a drink, cold water, take the dogs out, and uh, we'll see you guys again on the next video. Until next time, have a great week. Happy Mother's Day. Oh yeah, Happy Mother's Day. Bye bye. Bye.